Back on November 8th, Nick Claxton made a memorable NBA debut. Eight points and six rebounds in a win at Portland. The next day, Claxton's teammate Spencer Dinwiddie made some headlines when he told the New York Post that Claxton is the second most talented player on the Nets. Dinwiddie said Kevin Durant is first, but Nick's got game. Since then, Claxton's seen a mix of action with Brooklyn and Long Island in the G League, and he hasn't done anything to disprove Dinwiddie's claim. He's in the conversation for sure. I mean, he's a 6'11 dude that, that has some touch, he can handle, he can do a little bit of everything. I'd say there's an argument that he, he's right. And when he's played with us in Long Island, uh, it's the short stints he's been able to play with us, uh, he's, he's the most talented guy on the floor at all times. Coming from a guy like Spence, with that coming from him, that's, that's pretty big. And you know, I was glad to hear that, and I told him I appreciate it. But you know, that, at the end of the day, that doesn't mean anything. I got to keep working. Brooklyn is deep at center, giving Claxton an opportunity to fine tune his game with Long Island. He's certainly not the first. This year alone, John and Musa, Rodion's Kurutz, and Theo Pinson have joined him on G League assignments. They let me know, um, especially with Theo, just telling me how the transition will be. Everybody the staff, they make it really easy for me to just for me to just have to focus on basketball and not have to worry about too much, too many other things. That's why we drafted him, and I think that's you know it's proven to be true. He just wants to play. He just wants to play and compete uh, and get better each day. Forget everything else that's going on in the universe. He just wants to get better at basketball. As he works his way toward the ultimate goal of a permanent roster spot in Brooklyn, Nick Claxton can always find room for improvement in the G League. Trying to develop my shot, um, continue to work on my defensive principles and being vocal out there. And the biggest thing is just going out there and competing. His drive, his eagerness, his hunger to be the best he can be will drive him to you know improve each and every day. And fast forward a couple years down the line, you're going to be like, man, this dude is a monster.